The right are looking to put other colleagues out of a job. Take a look. Matt Gates just got schooled by AOC and others. He was totally manipulated into doing this. There were eight so-called Republicans that got together with 208 Democrats to oust the Republican speaker. I mean, I can't believe he's that stupid. Our dirty laundry should remain in our room, our laundry room, and so I think the conference has to have a serious conversation about that uh, and about what, what accountability there will be after eight people used a tool that should be very, used very delicately. They used it very callously. I think Matt Gates should be kicked out of conference. Uh, I think all of them should lose their committee spots. Wow. Hey there, guys. Welcome to the channel. So we all know that the Republican majority in the U.S. House of Representatives is in a desperate need of a permanent and, more importantly, a competent Speaker of the House. So even on so-called conservative networks like Fox, we can't really get the real story. You know, we can't really get the straight facts. We don't get any unfiltered information. So... I decided it was time to turn to a source that most unemployed but well-to-do middle-aged women trust, uh, the always honest, the very, very beautiful ladies of The View. I think Jim Jordan less so, um, but that's a scary thing that I hope the White House is paying attention to. I will to. just say about Jim Jordan, you know, um, he has been called by his own party, by John, John Boehner, a political terrorist. Now, ho hold on. I'm not saying that she's not credible. But John Boehner is not exactly a Republican, if you ask me. You know, we actually have a name for fraudulent politicians like him. Let me know in the comments if you guys know what that name is. He's also been linked to the Ohio State sexual abuse scandal. I testified in front of Congress. <laughs> guys, let me know in the comments if you are as sick of hearing about this just vitriolic slander as I am. And I encourage everyone who's watching this, especially the tricked and coerced leftists that actually believe this stuff but please please research this this is even less true than hillary's russian dossier congress about something so simple cameras and courtrooms he came in late he looked disheveled and he immediately was screaming and yelling and terrorized me and the other experts on the panel. So I would actually guess that Sunny had her people like scouring the internet trying to find this video and pr to prepare for this conversation. I would hope so at least, if you're gonna lie this blatantly. And they probably thought that the video just really wasn't out there, probably because it was an unimportant hearing that now is her claim to fame, I guess. Uh, it was a hearing that no one cared about. You know, cameras in courtrooms basically is what it was about. But it took some doing, but I found it. So let's take a look at the screaming and yelling from the infamous serial pervert and evil straight white male, Jim Jordan. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Appreciate you having this hearing. Mr. Tubin. this morning on national television, you said in talking about the uh, whistleblower complaint relative to the phone conversation the President of the United States had. That, at least in part, earlier said, basing it on the whistleblower uh, blower complaint, we need to remember a few things about this whistleblower. He had no firsthand knowledge of the phone call. Inspector General told us there was indicia of arguable political bias. You know what that is? That's Washington speak for this guy hated Trump. January 6, 2017, they told the president-elect he was not under investigation, all the while trying to set him up as part of their Trump-Russia investigation. And again, not my words. That was in the report released just three and a half weeks ago by the inspector general, Michael Horowitz. And yet so guys, you'll notice that I kind of jumped around a little bit. You know, I only basically played some of the questions that he asked, not the answers, because it was he had a good long five minutes. We don't want to watch that. But you'll notice a couple things. You'll notice that he looks completely normal, or at least like he always does. He doesn't yell and he doesn't terrorize. He doesn't even insult anyone. You'll also notice that he didn't actually even think or care to ask a question of Sonny Hostin. So plainly, she's a liar. And describing him as a terrorist is exactly that. He's a chaos agent and it came out of nowhere and he had no command of the subject that we were talking about, which made it even scarier. So to have him, the thought of him being the speaker of the house, I think leads to more chaos for but his role model is not <laughs> Again, going back to the well, man, she is completely and totally lying. You know, nothing she is saying is even close to the truth. I may, maybe, you know, you got to kind of give her the benefit of doubt. Maybe that's how she remembers it, but I don't even think that's possible. You know, this is all like most things that a leftist believes is in her mind and completely made up. And like 
All things, again, that leftists believe completely proven false by facts. Of him being the Speaker of the House, I think, leads to more chaos for But his country. role model is Donald Trump, who has no command of the language either. Well, yeah. I wanna, not to change the topic, but I want to jump in on the Ukraine aid. I <laughs> so, honestly, guys, this right here, you know, The View going to such amazing lengths to slander this guy, to rile up their propagandized followers and, you know, declare that they just can't imagine a world where a man like this, a man who only lives in the minds of lying liberals, could dare be speaker of our great house. It actually sounds a lot more like an endorsement than anything else. But anyway, guys, that's just my take. I thought you deserved to see this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you haven't already, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, share the channel. We'll see you in the next one.